doing the right thing if you wish to abandon this creature we will leave well no I don't want to abandon it but if we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there I remember a young lad who until this very moment would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal but these aren't undead Draugr they're elves I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes getting involved where we shouldn't
There, that bomb should help us out. feel like no matter what we do in Alfheim, we wind up hurting Dark Elves. We are down here to help the creature you hurt. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay.
I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. You don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lynch. We'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last squid thing we saw was greener, so... Oh, boy. Well, I appreciate the attempt at humor. That little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. There's got to be a way to clear those rocks. Get a better angle. can't get out. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. <laughs> Why did they trap it down here? half are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources, one the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this Hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? <sighs> no. Then let us free it.
is the spot. We can cut the half goofa loose here. Perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our Dark Elf friends, after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad, while he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead, but if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Thor and Odin stories to remember? Who else? Ah, room near the brawler. The stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer.
What's that? A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it. Soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim. Those were Einherjar? I thought Einherjar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Go! <laughs> Something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Couldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Enough. We will continue later. Oh! <laughs> 
So, which is your favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother? Why would I choose a favorite? to hear about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. Do you wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about... myself. We were discussing how manipulating the details of a prophecy can wreak havoc on our believers. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain cousin of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. Old. We will finish later.
So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Henry did, right? Or they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. I'm alone doing it is disconcerting enough. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. There's another storm out that way. I think that means... Another half goofa. Behind you! 
Brother, hold that thought. It's about to get fired. <laughs> Brother, I had a thought. What? <laughs>
Zorga. What of her? Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress. One too angry to die. We will see. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. about to relate the story of the Heath Witches, who overthrew a government using only deceptive prophecies. Let this wait. Stay alert. about to relate the story of the Heath Witches, who overthrew a government using only deceptive prophecies. Set that aside for now. Come. A harp. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. I would prefer it remain that way. Odin's ravens. They can just transport him anywhere? Except for the realm between realms, thankfully. Why? Harder to find, thanks to dwarven enchantments and Yggdrasil's very own nature. Hmm. Lucky us. overthrew a government using only deceptive prophecies. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. The next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit ah! this usurper. 
with just a few details structured ever so misleadingly. They convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical. Or magical. Aye, aye. But twas not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. No more for now. Focus. more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. The the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms. And keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad. And a troubling one. If Hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Sigrun's efforts. Or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit. Even occasionally. Yeah. Sorry, Mimir. get a chance to say before. I like your story about the Thane and the Heath Witches. You really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. ago you mentioned Odin's ravens. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. Looks like 
your axe is due for some attention. Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, do you know what a juicy Noken is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No. Boy, I'm glad this axe is in your hands. I know this sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's grid.